Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Raniero Kelly from Unimed. And uh, in the frame of the SAFE project, I'm going to give you some information about how things work in academic systems uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, I am now going to share my screen and I'm going to show you uh, a few things about two important items that you should consider if you plan to come uh, to, to Europe, uh, in particular to Italy, uh, to follow up uh, a study course. Uh, in, in Europe, we have what we call the, the ECTS, the European Credit Transfer System, <clears throat> which is a system uh, created uh, some years ago in the frame of the Bologna process in order to make sure that uh, the courses that you follow in any European countries are basically considered in a homogeneous way across uh, the different countries. And then, because you are probably going to come to Italy um, to follow uh, academic courses, I would like to give you a few uh, pieces of information about how things work in the Italian academic system. ECTS, European Credit Transfer System, as the name says, is uh, a European system. Uh, <clears throat> And it was it was it was created. It is meant in order to ensure that students and universities define and understand the workload that comes with lectures and study programs. Uh, so it is. Uh, it might seem a little bit complicated at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure you you you, you will understand it quite easily. So uh, it actually it is called European Credit Transfer and, and Accumulation System because you add up a number of points for each course that you follow. And the, the, the main point is that it's meant to help students to study and live in different European nations during the studies without losing the uh, value of the courses that they have already, that they have already uh, uh, followed. <clears throat> So what are these points? Uh, they are called points or credits, and they are associated <clears throat> to the workload in terms of study hours that you have to add up in order to reach uh, a cert to complete a certain uh, <clears throat> a certain course or a module. Uh, they only indicate the workload, the amount of hours they spend, and not the grade. It doesn't matter if it is bachelor, master, PhD, etc. Uh, so, broadly speaking, we can say that <clears throat> each year of full time study or work where applicable is worth about 60, 60 ECTS uh, credits. This is divided into modules. For instance, if you follow four courses, uh, each one for 15 ECTS, it will add up to 60 ECTS for the whole year. <clears throat> what do we mean by workload, actually? The workload is the total number of hours that you have to spend in order to complete one, for instance, one module. <clears throat> Uh, which means that the, this is the sum of the hours that you spend, uh, uh, for instance, attending traditional lessons, courses. Uh, and on, uh, on top of that, you can have, for instance, practical activities, uh, laboratories, <clears throat> and of course, the individual study that you do at home. All this adds up to the number of ECTS that you get for, uh, for your course. Uh, in Italy <clears throat> and in many European countries, the undergraduate degree requires three years full-time study. Uh, so it is uh, 180 ECTS, whereas in some countries it's four and therefore it's 240. Uh, master degrees typically range from 60 ECTS for one year to uh, 120 for two years whereas the PhD program are not so, uh, let's say, homogeneous in structure, so there is not a predefined value of ECTS for each one of them. So uh, actually, <clears throat> although the system was created in order to homogenize, let's say, the way in which uh, <clears throat> courses are recognized across Europe, 
uh, it is not exactly like that. There are small differences. For instance, in the United Kingdom, uh, one ECTS is worth 20 study hours. In countries like Austria, Iceland, Iceland Italy, and Malta, it's 24, 25, sorry. In Finland, Lithuania, and Sweden, it's 27, and in Germany, it's up to 30 hours. So there are uh, small, uh, small uh, differences, but broadly speaking, this uh, this is the way <clears throat> uh, uh, the way they are converted from uh, hours into ECTS. So uh, how how does it work? The credit points indicate the workload associated with the study uh, module or uh, modules. And the great thing is that uh, they are uh, ver very versatile. They are used by and accepted by all uh, uh, European universities and also many other uh, institutions around the world. So you can use them in three, in three ways. You transfer them between a university to another. You study abroad. And uh, for instance, you can have an exchange uh, semester at a different university. And uh, you can use it as a basis to apply for further studies like uh, a master or, uh, or a PhD. Now, I uh, don't want to go too much in detail of, uh, of this. I think I gave you an idea. This You have this link uh, to this website, which explains uh, pretty well how things work. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, if you are coming to Italy to study, uh, you'd better know how it works in Italy. In Italy, the Bologna process uh, is implemented as all in, in all European countries into uh, three cycles, three levels. However, they are slightly different from other countries. Uh, for instance, in France, uh, there are, the three levels are called Licence Master uh, et Doctorat, LMD. In Italy, we call them um, the, the first level, the first cycle, undergraduate, the first three years um, after high school is uh, called uh, Laurea Triennale, three, Triennale Laurea. Uh, and it's called in its equivalent of uh, a bachelor. The second formal cycle is the postgraduate degree. It lasts two years, uh, and uh, it gives you, of course, 120 years uh, ECTS, whereas the first one gives you 180. And we called it magist laurea magistrale. And it is the, uh, the equivalent of a master in other institutions. And then the third cycle is the specialization school or uh, the PhD. Now, the peculiar thing is that we have a, pa a parallel path in Italy, which are what we call the masters, okay? So uh, once you have got your undergraduate degree, undergraduate degree, your first three years, you have the choice between going to the second level, to the second cycle, postgraduate degree, or to take a first level master. To take the first level master, you must have uh, a bachelor degree. The same goes for the second level. Once you have completed the second level, you can either go to the PhD or, uh, or, or specialization school or take a second level master. Second level master requires that you have a postgraduate uh, degree. And uh, the masters are normally uh, providing either normally 60 ECTS because they last one uh, they last one year. So I, I have tried to give you a very short overview of how ECTS work and how the Italian uh, system is structured and I hope this can be useful for you to understand uh, when you come to Italy. Have a nice day.